idea was, hey, you know, let's target those airports that don't already have lights or maybe um, airports that don't have as many operations. We can, uh, we can have them replace those out to bring down their cost savings for the year. Penn Yan is the first airport where the Federal Aviation Administration is testing out its new solar-powered lights. The FAA is planning to take the show on the road to five regions in the United States, including Penn Yan, Arizona, and Washington State. The goal of the testing is to see how durable and functional solar-powered lighting is along runways and taxiways. Ryan King, the lead researcher of the FAA's Airport Safety Research and Development Section at the William J. Hughes Technical Center, says they are measuring what it takes to power the signs and light them up at night. We're making sure that the, the battery that's being charged by the solar energy is providing enough power to give the right amount of light, the right color for the, the right duration. Typically, the lights stay on at, a, at an airport where they're pilot controlled for 15 minutes. So once they're on, pilot lands, taxis, and then the lights automatically shut off. King says currently airports have an expensive underground wiring system that many other small airports don't have the revenue to support construction costs. Other than testing out the functionality, Darian Bird, an FAA employee and electrical engineer at the WHTC, says that they are seeing how cost effective it is and how it can help create a more greener environment. Well, they're probably uh, maybe 20% cheaper than what you would normally pay for uh, standard airport lighting. But over over 10 years, you know, you'll see um, you'll see savings of you know 30, 40 percent. That's based off of battery battery recharging or, or battery replacement that you'll have to do uh, every five years. It's solar. It's it's greener. Uh, you have less CO2 emissions. Uh, I believe the the number of almost 200,000 pounds of uh, of carbon emissions that you're that you're not going to have that solar power lighting don't have. So. Uh, there's, uh, there's, there's plenty of added benefits. King says he has high hopes for solar power lighting as it could be the future for airport lighting. Yeah, sure, absolutely. I, I hope that we get to a point where uh, not only can we put these on airports that don't have lights, but we'll be able to start replacing uh, the lights that are on airports with these solar lights. For FingerLakes1.com, I'm Megan Hatch.